A story that can never be forgotten. A story where there is a difference between two people who have a difference of land and sky. A story which is a love story and I want to bring this movie back to life. I will put all my hard work on my life to revive those moments in this story that you felt for the first time by watching it. Because in this story truth, pain and love so guys without wasting, let's come to the main storyline of the story. Here the time is shown in 1909-7, where we are shown. In Arctic, a very large ship with its modern technology goes down to a depth of 3,821 meters submerged in water. Because the ship buried there is the largest of the century, which is called the Titanic. According to researchers, it is said that many years ago, when the ship sank on April 15, 1912, a very precious diamond named the Heart of Ocean was also buried somewhere along with it and all of them are working hard to find the same diamond and after searching a lot, they get some success there, they will find a safe which they bring up the top. After opening it, they find some wet notes and think that the diamond will be in the safe. But there is no diamond there. But with this, he gets a small drawing. There was a girl in that drawing and at the same time it a new life with her granddaughter. Then she tells her that I have to talk to these people and when that old woman is talked to the deck captain of this ship, she asks her if you got the heart of the ocean, then those people say that we are trying but we have not yet received it. Do you know anything about him? So she says that yes, I know about her and after that with the help of some helicopter name is Rose Dawson. Here the researchers tell them that 8 to 4 years ago today, on April 15, 1912, the Titanic which is considered to be the strongest and largest ship in this world, sank in the water. There, Rose Dawson is also shown one of her 3D modeling, but Rose says that she is very good at explaining, but I can still feel the pain I felt then. So the captain says, would you like to share those things with us? And from here the story reaches its flashback, where we are shown Rose's family he has left Southampton present on this ship. First class in which all the royal and rich people were present, second year medium people and third class poor people who were not able to afford expensive tickets. At the same time, we are shown the lead character of this story I, Jack Dawson who is gambling with his friends and is lucky to gamble. Due to Jack's good luck, he gets that ticket and he goes on that sheep with his friend. Rose was very fond of art. She used to keep a lot of anti-paintings in her room as well as many specimens than you. Here all the captains of the Titanic now stand on its top point and say that New York will take us in a very short time. Then the captain there asks this ship to run with its full speed, where this ship starts running at its 21 note should end my life because if there is no life of freedom then what is the purpose of living? And she reaches the end point of that ship from there and jumps from there and is going to kill herself. But then Jack reaches there and tells her that if you jump from here, I will also have to jump to save you. If you jump, I will also jump, life is precious. Don't waste it and now believing Jack's words, Rose grabs his hand and tries to come back upstairs. But by mistake her foot slips and she is about to fall. But Jack take advantage of Rose. But Rose says that I just came here to see the propeller of this whole ship, but I accidentally slipped my foot and I was saved by Mr. Dawson. Then the policemen there say that Mr. Clayton should save his life, then at least he should get a tip, then their Cledon says that it is okay. If you give him $20, then Rose would say that only 20 for saving my life is my price so low, then Clayton comes over there and says to Jack, why don't you eat dinner with us tomorrow evening? That's where the scene shifts. The next day in the morning, where Rose and Jack meet again, and these two start talking to each other, then Rose asks him where are you from and what are you going to New York to get? Then Jack tells that I am just a traveler where I get a roof where I go to the place where I live there. She also has a drawing book nearby. So Rose says can you show me, and when she opens it, she finds third grade. They start enjoying a lot after reaching class. They drink a lot. Claydon comes to know about this, while Claydon is also very angry at him. There in the evening, his mother comes to him and says that we are gradually becoming poor. Our name, which is Coffee Isadder, is the only one left. We'll have if you don't marry Clyden, we'll be down to earth. So Rose says, why should I sacrifice myself? 
If you are very selfish, then his mother would say that you are also selfish as if I do not care. Because of this, Rose does not see his mother's tears, and he is now ready to marry Cleodon. The next Rose abuses him and drives him away and says don't try to meet me because my marriage is now fixed with Clyden and I can never see you again. Jack gets very angry after hearing this and goes from there. Both of them reach the top point of the ship again to enjoy their personal movement. The watchmen standing above here also start watching them, but in the meantime, a very big rock comes in front of them, which is of ice. By this time, they have not noticed all the pilots together reduce the speed of the ship and try to turn it to the left. Despite putting all its life, a lower part of the Titanic ship collides with that icy rock. Because of this, water starts filling in the porch below the Titanic, and then all the big captains of the ship reach there and with this, open the blueprint there and try to find out one into the water to save their lives. Some people try to go to the top position of this whole ship. There are also jacks and roses in which there is also a huge ship and gradually this giant ship now sinks in water and a time comes when Jack and Rose also drown. But there is a wooden strap lying there with the help of which Jack saves Rose's life there. When the captain talked at the arctic point that we needed help, they said that help would come only by the next morning, and because of the cold water. On the other hand, there were some people who wanted that we could save the lives of our colleagues, our family members. The sellers who run the boats put the women and children all together in one boat, and the other five or six sailors together go to the other dead people to find out if anyone is still alive and show us there. Jack and Rose Jahan are now completely frozen in the snow. Rose tells him that help has arrived. All those sellers have reached here and our lives can be saved. But by this time they were too late. This is where Jake dies because of that snow and he is not able to say the last goodbye every day and he dies by drowning in the water there. Due to such a cold, I could not even say anything every day and when the sellers ask if anyone is alive here, do you need our help? But by this time there is no life in Rose's throat. From there, those sellers start leaving, and every day they make them scream from behind. Less baked, less baked, but due to lack of strength in the throat, those sellers reach far away from it. Then Rose sees a whistle of sellers lying near her, and she starts playing it loudly, and when the sellers hear the sound of her whistle, they all come to her to save her. Where the next day all these people have now reached New York City, saving their lives. Even at this time, Clayton is looking for his roles, but by this time, Rose has changed her name to Rose Dawson from Rose Winslet, and from here the story comes to again in present time where the captain of the ship is talking to his granddaughter. On the other hand, remembering her old moments every day, she reaches the end point of that deck with that heart of the ocean, that Kohinoor diamond. Through those researchers, he came to know that these people are still trying to find that diamond in the debris of water. So finally every day she frees herself from those memories by putting that diamond in that water. After meeting Jake, Rose became aware of the importance of her life. He only found out every single moment which was enough to live life and now when it was her last moment, she now leaves her world and reaches another world. This was the world where the Titanic was still alive. That was the world where all the 1000. 500 people who were killed at that moment were still alive and it was the same 9 o'clock peak where Jack waited and, and subscribed to this lovely channel of ours.